Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charity. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. And as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here with me. Today's video is a fashion haul. I'm trying on some clothes that I just brought some most recently. Actually, none of them are recently. I'm just getting around to making this a video. But um, the items from Abercrombie, it is my first time trying them on. And I want to share with you guys before we go to that, the new shoes that I brought. One of them I haven't worn and I don't know if I'm going to keep them. They are these boots from Sam Edelman. I purchased these from Nordstrom. This is what they look like. Now that I'm looking at them, they look like someone's worn them already. Yeah, I thought these were really cute. Wait. Did this come on wear these already? I'm like looking like, hold up now. <laughs> that might just be because of the leather. Anyway. Um, these are the Sam Edelman shoes that I picked up. They're called, what are these called? The Thelma Black Leather. I thought these were really cute because they can be worn dressed down and very casual and they're still really sleek. But now that I have them, I don't know. I haven't worn them at all, so I don't know if I'm going to keep them or return them. They are like a really, really cute shoe. I saw a pair that were a chunkier heel, which I feel is more so my vibe. So maybe I will switch these out since I've had these for a while. The other pair of shoes that I brought, I've worn several times and I think I showed them in the video. I don't wear shoes in the house, so I put like a little rug out. It's hard for me to record with like shoes in the house. Franco Sarto loafers. These are super cute, super comfy. You can see that I've worn them a few times, but they have a cushion on the insole and they're very classic. I love the I don't know what you call this detailing right there and i think these are really classic loafers loafers are on trend right now and that's what made me get them i really love like the chunky loafers with socks that is a look that i really would love to recreate right now i am being more intentional with the items that i purchase so i want to try to get things that i can get more wear out of first before i get like the more um i guess trendy pieces for me they're not trendy i think they're very much my style this is more classic something that i can wear dressing up and dressing down so i opted to get these first those are the only two shoes picked up recently and i hope you enjoy today's video first item that I'm going to show you guys it's the black mini skirt that I picked up from Marshalls I love this skirt I love the split it's not too sexy yet it's still sexy which is totally my vibe I love that you can dress this skirt up or dress it down I'm dressing it down with like these black boots and then this oversized top it hits on my fingers like at the right point for oversized and i also love the smiley faces i think the smiley faces are so cute on this sweater and i paired it with this black i'm sorry not black i paired it with this gold herringbone necklace that I picked up from Banana Republic with the satin shirt that, I, that I'll show you later. It's really comfortable and this is a really casual, casual look. Another way that I wore this leather skirt was with this black plain turtleneck. I wore this to an event at a museum. It was like an after hours. I call this like my sexy librarian look. I think it's just really classic. The mini skirt kind of adds a little bit of 
Ba ba boom. Um, and I'm just wearing it with the Sam Edelman loafers that I picked up. I picked these up from Nordstrom. When I wore this outfit, I actually wore it with a coat. I picked this up from Nordstrom. It is by Ralph Lauren. And I think that everyone should have a nice black coat. It's a staple item in the wardrobe. And since I'm trying to be more intentional as I shop and not have so many trendy things or things that don't have longe longevity. What I particularly love is the detailing on the pockets. It has leather on the pocket and also around the collar, which makes the coat really special to me. Would you believe me if I said my skirt ripped? I spilled some water on the floor. I don't know why I bent down to get it and a rip. <sighs> the cleaners, they'll be able to fix it. It is so annoying. Maybe I'm just getting too thick in the thighs, you know? Um, since we're at coats, I'm going to show you guys the leather coat, my, my baby. Let me go try that on for you. So this, this is my baby right here, y'all. I haven't worn the coat yet, but isn't it fabulous? Like... I love this coat. Hold up. Let me just give you the full thing. Oh, I don't kind of like how this looks. It's tied around the waist. Okay. <laughs> Cute. This is the leather coat that I picked up from the thrift store. I absolutely adore this coat. It's a size medium. It is a little big, but honestly, who cares? I actually can't unbutton it. I actually went to the thrift store to find a coat that I saw the day before. I went back with the intentions of getting a whole different coat. I remember talking to my friend and Erica, hey girl, I know she's watching. And she was like, you might find something even better. She was right. This is even better because the other coat, it had to um, go to the cleaners for like some sewing things. I love this coat. It is like literally everything for me. I just need a longer one. But um, I tied it in the back, which I think is super cute. And it also accentuates the waist a bit more. Like, yeah, this is for me. Love like the shoulders. There's no padding in here, but they kind of give in structure. It's by Nine West. I don't even think Nine West makes clothes anymore but yes the next item is the black leather midi skirt that I picked up from Marshalls I think this skirt is really cute the length is perfect for wearing to work it's a great transition piece for day to night I also think it can be dressed up and look really sophisticated and also dressed down very casual. Either way, it's a very chic skirt in my opinion. And the leather just, I just love leather. Anything in leather is already a win for me. I think it's a really fun and I can't wait to wear it. I saw some looks on Pinterest. I don't have anything right now to recreate the looks that I really saw. So I just paired it with the black turtleneck that I had on with the other skirt. And next up, I'm gonna show you the items from Abercrombie. Together, we'll see if it's a go. These are the vegan leather straight leg pants. And it's my first time trying them on. I don't know if you're like me. I stand on my tippy toes to see what they will look like 
if I had heels on. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure about these. Let me do my slow walk, <laughs> say no. But anyway, um, I'm not really sure about these pants. The bodysuit, I think it's cute. I really love this part of the bodysuit. That's what made me get it. I think it's super chic and also very sexy. Okay, sunlight. I wouldn't wear these two together necessarily at all. I would wear probably a bigger top with these um, pants. Not a bigger top, but you know what I mean. Not something so fitted. The bodysuit, I still feel like I could have gotten a medium. The final item that I purchased from Abercrombie and Fitch was this white oversized Oxford shirt. I styled it with a white shirt underneath and these gray denim jeans. This is a look that I saw on Pinterest. I had a difficult time styling this shirt because I don't have jeans that I feel go go well with it. Realizing that I do need a nice pair of denim jeans, blue denim jeans specifically, I think that would really make this outfit come together for a very cool and classic look. Oh, my battery. Still have on the necklace. I've been wearing this necklace throughout every look and this just shows how well it goes with everything. I also would like to get a more tailored and structured white Oxford shirt, but this is cute. It's very casual. I like the pocket. I love the big pocket. I think it's really different and something that I haven't seen on a lot of white shirts. The last thing that I want to show you guys is this suit I picked up from the thrift store. Me and my mom saw this. She was like, you have to get it. Guess how much it was, y'all? Yes, you heard me right. It was $10 and I love this. I think it is so chic. I love how it accentuates your body, how it goes in at the waist and gives you a nice shape. Plum at the bottom, the shoulder pads, and then these three buttons. I love this. It fits so well. I don't know if they had it tailored. It's a really nice suit and I cannot wait to go to another job to wear it. <laughs> but seriously. Okay, friends, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun trying on the clothes. It was my first time seeing a lot of those pieces on myself as well and yeah thank you so much for being here with me and don't forget to comment like share and subscribe until next time take care enjoy yourselves bye bye